Hello friends, this video on acid and base part 2 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1. The common acids which we know as acetic acid, that's also called vinegar, or uh, acetylsalic acid, which is called aspirin, ascorbic acid, that is vitamin C, carbonic acid, that is used in soft drinks. Citric acid used in fruits, hydrochloric acid, the one in the stomach, I told stomach has the acid. Nitric acid is used in fertilizers and explosives. And sulfuric acid. So if you see, these are the common acids which we uh, use uh, maybe in our day-to-day -day life or in chemistry fictions also. So you should know all these acids. The reason I took the slide was that you should be aware of these acids, that you should know that S2SO4 is sulfuric acid, HNO3 is nitric acid, HCl is hydrochloric acid, sulfuric acid is C6H8O7, or carbonic acid is S2CO3. All these things you should know, right? If you don't, please remember these. Uh, in chemistry, uh, you can't, you, you have an option to clearly understand things. But certain things like you know the compounds, you know the elements, you know the acids, you have to remember. So please uh, try to learn these uh, names; it will help a lot. So we have defined we have acids now, right? Acid is something which which can uh, donate H plus ion, right? Which can donate H plus ion, we can donate this rich ion. So, so we we also categorize types of acids based on the origin. Uh, we define as organic acids, organic acids, and mineral acids. So we have two different types based on origin. So organic acids are something which is derived from living, living organisms like plants, animals. They are called organic acids and they are generally weak acids and not harmful. They are generally weak acids. For example, from lemon we get citric acid, right? Fruits also we get acetic acid in vinegar, oxalic acid we get from tomato, tartaric acid is called tamarind, lactic acid is you get from milk and curd. So these are the acids, acids which you get from natural things and they are weak and they are not harmful, right? For example, citric acid, please remember this term citric acid from fruits, acetic acid from vinegar, oxalic acid from tomato, tartaric acid from tamarind, lactic acid from milk and all, sour milk acid. So these are the organic acids weak and not harmful. There is something called mineral, mineral acid. So where which, which are not organic, we don't get from plants and animals, they are dangerous and explosives. Right? They usually get from nature, but example sulfuric acid, hydrochloric acid, these are the acids which are for minerals and they are very very harmful. Let's discuss types of acids based on the strength. So based on strength we have strong acid and weak acid. Strong acids are those acids which completely dissociate into ions in aqueous solution. Completely dissociate. Weak acids do not completely dissociate into ions in the aqueous solution. So strong acids are, for example, nitric acid, sulfuric acid, and hydrochloric acid. These are all strong acids. The weak acids are carbonic acid and acetic acid. These are all weak acids. So I have strong acids and I have weak acids. So based on the concentration, I have dilute acid and concentrated acid. So when I say based on concentration, that means how much is the percentage of acid in the aqueous solution. You see dilute, it has low concentration of acid in the aqueous solution. There's a concentration that is it is high concentration of acid in the aqueous solution. So please note, uh, if it is concentrated, it will react more, but as it is dilute, it will react less, more reaction. For the same acid, for example, if you are looking for hydrochloric acid, if it is concentrated, it will react more, it will be more powerful, if it is dilute, it is a mild version of hydrochloric acid. It will react less. So more dilute, lesser is the reaction power. So the third is. And we can also classify acid on the basis of state. 
So we have solid acids also, for example, sulfanic acid. We have liquid also, for example, hydrochloric acid and sulfuric acid. And we have gas acid also, for example, S2S and CO. Carbon dioxide is considered to be acid, it's acidic in nature. And S2S. Here we have to note that HCl is a gas actually. Hydrogen chloride is a gas, right? But hydrochloric acid, those are different actually. Hydrochlor hydrogen chloride and hydrogen hydrochloric acid is different. Hydrochloric acid, when we talk hydrochloric acid, is formed when we dissolve this guy HCl, that is gas, in water. Correct. So if you see this reaction, you have this guy gas, you have this water, you react, you get this H2O plus plus Cl plus. This is a reaction that happens and we generally call HCl as hydrochloric acid but HCl is nothing but hydrogen chloride and it is a gas. To make hydrochloric acid what we do is we pass this guy this gas with water and through water and we get hydrochloric acid. Correct. So hydrochloric acid is liquid but hydrogen chloride is gas and hydrochloric acid is form using hydrogen chloride. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.